Canada has announced the cancellation of a football game with Iran scheduled to take place in June. The reason given is because of an incident which took place in 2020 in which Iranian forces mistakenly shot down a Ukrainian flight en route to Kiev, which heartbreakingly killed Canadian citizens and others. Iran had been on extremely high alert following the assassination of its general Qasem Soleimani by the US military, ordered by former President Donald Trump. And so when the Ukrainian flight ventured close to sensitive Iran sites, Iran mistook the plane for a missile and mistakenly and sadly shot the plane down in error. The victims of the tragedy included dozens of Iranians, Canadians and nationals from Ukraine, the United Kingdom, Afghanistan and Germany. Given that this was a tragedy which was, according to Iran, a mistake and avoidable, and that former Iranian leader Hassan Rouhani acknowledged the incident as unforgivable and expressed condolences, Canada's apparent moral justification for cancelling its football match with Iran doesn't really make sense. And here's why. Canada has no issue competing in the World Cup in the first place in Qatar, despite the country's dire track record on human rights. Nor is Canada losing any sleep over competing with teams such as the United States and Israel when both are complicit with extensive, brutal, deliberate and well-documented abuses of Palestinians. Canada also appears to have zero problems with selling the weapons used in the ongoing war against Yemen, now the world's most serious humanitarian crisis, but is happy to single out Iran for criticism. So, for Canadian MPs, rallying against Iran seems to be just that, rallying against Iran. But maybe we shouldn't be surprised. Canada has carefully cultivated an image as a friendly utopia, when in reality Islamophobia and anti-black racism is rife, while ongoing injustices for First Nation Canadians continue. Still, even though Canada turns a blind eye when it comes to human rights abuses committed by its friends, at least the Canadian PM Justin Trudeau is a genuinely nice guy with strong anti-racist credentials. Except, of course, that's not the case either. If you didn't know, Trudeau has been caught wearing blackface on more than one occasion, to the point he's not even sure how many times he did it. Racist caricatures of black people are part of a very violent history, but of course Trudeau knows this. So, when you see Canada taking a moral stance against other countries, just be clear about its own very controversial history and double standards.